so today we are doing a very very exciting video ever since I started doing this trying prom dress series on my channel this brand in particular has been suggested to me so so much and we are finally gonna try dresses off of Hebios. I watched a few videos this morning of people pronouncing this brand's name and everyone says like Hebios so that's what I'm gonna say. Tell me down below if I'm pronouncing it wrong but I'm gonna be saying Hebios. So unlike the other prom dresses I've tried in the past, these ones are a little bit more expensive. So if you guys are unaware of this brand, the dresses kind of range from $150 US to anywhere to like $300, $350. So it was an investment to buy some dresses off of this brand, but I really wanted to try them out. So I can imagine you guys are just as excited as I am to see these dresses on. But first, I want to tell you guys a little bit about the shipping issue I have because it's worth saying. So I ordered these dresses back in April, I believe it was April 15th, and the shipping option I chose stated that the dresses would come to me before April 29th. Before April 29th. But I actually did not receive the dresses until May 12th. So the reason why I think that's important to say is because say your prom is April 30th and you pick the shipping option that will arrive to you before April 29th and you're like, I'm good, it'll come before April 29th, my prom is April 30th, I'm good. No, you're not good. It could get there May 12th, just like mine did. So yeah, all of that negativity aside, I just want you guys to know that, but I am so excited to try these dresses. I actually took them out of the packages and hung them up just because they were really compacted into these like small packages with like tape around them. So I was like, okay, they're gonna be so wrinkled. Let's just hang them up. So I have them all hung up and I'm so ready to try them on. So let's get into trying on these dresses. Fingers crossed, they look amazing. Let's just get into this. Okay, so the first dress that I cannot freaking wait to try on is this two-piece burgundy dress. Like, oh my gosh. This dress looks so good. It's got this pretty lace detailing on the front. It's got this nice mesh. I don't mind the mesh on this actually because you can tell it's not trying to blend with the skin. It's actually just like a part of the detailing of the dress and the skirt is this really pretty flowy roughly oh my gosh I love two pieces and I love the really thick fluffy skirts so I cannot wait for this one and the interesting thing about Hebios that you can do is when you have a dress like this the model that I bought this off of, like in the picture on the website, it was actually like a nude champagne color, but you can order to have it made in any color. So I had mine ordered to be burgundy, obviously. And this dress was $237 US, so $303 Canadian. This was one of the more expensive ones, but it's also just like super stunning. Like the picture really sold me on it. And it's really heavy, like my arm is killing me. So I think we better just throw this on. Fingers crossed that it fits. Let's try it. I moved the camera to be hopefully a little bit of a wider angle because I really want to get the full dresses and I have a little thing to step onto. I took all of your guys' advice to try and make these videos better because I do really want them to be helpful and I want you to be able to see the full thing. But okay, here is the dress. Let's jump into it. One, two, three. Okay, here is this dress on. Oh my gosh. Okay, first off, I think I have to tilt the camera down even a little bit more. So let me do that. There we go. That is much better. You can see the full dress. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is so freaking stunning. First of all, I just quickly want to say I got all of these dresses in a size 2, but on the website you actually can get them tailored to your exact measurements for like hips, bust, waist, you can get it specifically done. The reason I didn't do that, I'll get into later in this video, but it is a little bit big on the waist, so I just took a little pin and pinned it, but if you were actually going to get one of these dresses, I would suggest putting in your actual measurements and trying to get it tailored as close to your body shape as you can, because Surprisingly, when you're getting your like prom dress tailored, tailoring can be almost the same price as your dress. So if Hebios can just do it and you won't have to worry about it, that in itself is a really good 
thing to have. Why does this feel so scary? Come on. I just want you guys to be able to see the skirt. So as you guys can clearly see with the skirt, it's this really nice thick material with a little bit of lace and mesh over it. And then obviously it drops to the skirt, which is more like a tulle fabric. But it is nice because it doesn't just cut off right into the tulle. It actually has a few little lace bits that take it gradiently into the skirt, which I like. This skirt actually doesn't have a train. It's the same length all the way around. Okay. Let me just get down. This dress 100% gets a 10 out of 10. If I had to critique one thing, it would be that this band of jewels right here looks a little bit cheap. It's these silver and red ones. But honestly, that your eyes do not go there with this dress because it's so pretty. Now, I almost forgot that this dress was $300 Canadian, so it's not like it's super cheap, obviously. But compared to some dresses that you would buy at like a prom boutique that would look like this, would probably be honestly like $700. So it's, a, it's decent. But okay, so here is the first prom dress. Let's get into the next ones. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited! Okay, so the next dress that we have to try on is this stunning, like, this is like a periwinkle color. At first I want to say it's like lilac, but it feels very periwinkle. And it's got these beautiful, like, intricate detailing flowers on it with jewels. It has the mesh I'm not usually a fan of, but it's one of those ones that only covers your boobs kind of thing, so it makes sense. And then the back is kind of like an open back. Hopefully this isn't itchy because a lot of the dresses we've tried that have this sort of detailing ends up being itchy. And then this flower detailing moves into this skirt that feels a lot like chiffon. It's really flowy and quite heavy. And this dress was 179 US, so what is that? 229 Canadian. So it's quite a bit less than this one was, but still decently pricey. But if it's really nice, we'll see. And it also has a bit of a train. So, okay, let's put this one on. We're going to once again jump into the dress, so let's go. Okay, so here is this periwinkle dress on. I will admit, this was a little bit hard to get over my head. But now that I have it on, I realize there's these little buttons on the sleeve so you're actually not supposed to be even able to get your head through this hole so yeah <laughs> whoops so it's a little bit staticky right now just because there are so many layers this there's this one this one and this one so there's three layers not see-through at all and this one actually does have a little bit of a train like i was talking about i think the way they did this skirt is really super pretty it's so cinderella to me to have this pointing in like that i think it just looks like so cute how it sits i think the best part of this dress is definitely the back that is so so pretty. I think if you are ordering a prom dress off of there, you may as well use your tailored size, like just put it in and get it tailored perfectly to yourself. Because a size 2, I wouldn't mind getting it a little bit smaller right here. But do you know how well this would picture? Like a picture from the back like this with the train? It's a Cinderella moment and I love it. Okay, next dress. Okay, so this next dress is not like the others. I think that this is just a really royal looking dress. It looks almost like old Hollywood. It just looks so satiny. And this dress was 126 US, so 161 Canadian. So this I think was the most inexpensive dress I got off Hebeos. And it's really pretty, especially if you bought one of those skirt like a petticoat skirt thing that goes under that would poof it out i think this would look really pretty and it would sit really nice i didn't have time to steam this but there's a couple wrinkles but you could get rid of that i like the pleats right here it has a built-in bra let's try it on you can already guess it we're gonna be jumping into this so let's go okay so here is this red dress on look at this skirt it is so big imagine if it had if i had that poof but you skip the bottom step here is how the bottom of the dress looks i wish so badly that this dress had pockets because it has the pleats as if it should have pockets also this dress is not see-through it is so 
comfortable. The only thing it, that I think is for a small boobed woman that I am, these cups are a little bit big. Even with my bra underneath, they're a little bit big. Like I, I, I can't fill these. I can just picture someone wearing this with some black pretty heels, a crystal necklace with their hair like up. Oh, it's, uh, oh. This really gives me like an old Hollywood glam and I love it. Okay, next dress. Also, by the way, you guys, this is really soft. The quality feels really good and thick. Just needs to be steamed. Okay, you guys, we have another Hebeos dress to try after this one, but this one actually is from AliExpress. If you guys watched my last prom dress video I did a month ago, I tried prom dresses off of AliExpress and I said one didn't come, but it was probably going to come later, and it did. So I thought I would just fit it in with this video because I want to show it. And this one was $58 US, $74 Canadian. It's really super pretty. The boot pads look a little bit cheap, like they're a little bit floppy, but the dress is really stunning. <laughs> I'm out of breath. But okay, let's try this one on. It's just a nice tulle dress, let's see. All right, jumping into the dress. Okay, here is this dress from AliExpress. Like, at first look, it honestly looks really cute, but I think when you get up closer is when it looks a little bit cheap. For instance, under this mesh, you can see the boob pad is kind of like moving around a little bit. It's not really stayed in place because it's only puckered at one part of it, so it kind of has room to move around. I love the little flowers in this. The back is really pretty with the open back. I think that looks really good. Actually, you know what? This isn't too bad. I think it would need a little bit of alterations, like sewing the boob pads, maybe figuring out the shoulders, but for $58 US, like pretty decent. I definitely think it fits in for the most part with the dresses that have been like $200. Plus, it was available in a lot of colors. I got this light pink. It might look more classy in like light gray. Wow, I'm actually quite impressed with this one. I had to wait a long time for it, but it maybe was worth the wait. On to the last Hebeos prom dress. I did save the best for last. Let's go. Last prom dress. You guys wanted to see a ball gown. And this is your time to see a ball gown. It was 189 US, 242 Canadian, so not too bad for this much fabric. And the top, the bodice is so pretty. It's beaded out, laced out, and it, the lace trails all the way down the front of the dress. It's so heavy, goes off the shoulders. The picture was actually in green, but I wanted it in navy. And then, <laughs> It's got like a bunch of layers of tulle underneath so it should puff out. Oh my gosh, this is so stunning. This looks royal. Royal blue and it looks royal. Let's try it on. My arm is literally hurting from lifting this up. It's so much dress here. Let's hop in. Okay, so here is this dress on. I am swimming in this dress. It is way too big for me. It's a size two, that's what I usually am. So there we go, now that the waist is tailored in, it definitely looks a lot better. Oh my goodness, I just realized the stool's in this. Dang it! Here is a stunning dress. Let's show you the bottom. Here is the dress, it goes all the way to the feet. Huge, puffy, so pretty. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. I absolutely love the top of this dress being off the shoulder. I think it just makes the dress look super cute and elegant, but also like intriguing, like, oh, who is she? But anyways, this is the last dress. Let's move into my final thoughts and the fun giveaway. Okay, you guys, so that has been trying some dresses off of Hebeos and one off of AliExpress. My final thoughts on these dresses is that they are worth trying. If you want to get a really, really nice dress, but you don't want to spend like 500 or above, I would seriously suggest trying Hebeos. I don't know what their return policy is, so maybe you should look into that first just in case it's not good. Definitely order it way before your graduation or prom day just because 
Like I said, the shipping is a little iffy. I think it's impressive how they can make the dresses any color you want, tailored perfectly to your body. I definitely think that is so awesome. And one thing I thought was really great on their website, they have every size. I swear there's a size for everybody on their website and if there isn't you can tailor it to your body and they will do it. I really hope to all the people who wanted to see this video that it was helpful. I think the quality of the dresses is really amazing. The only thing is you might need to steam your dress just because it's a little wrinkly but like it may look a little cheap when it's wrinkly but it actually feels pretty decent. So yeah okay moving on to the giveaway. So I'm going to be giving away all of these dresses and I wasn't sure if I should do that just because they all are just a size 2 and I know not everyone who's following me or subscribed to me or majority of anyone on the face of the earth is a size 2. There's been people in the past reaching out to me and they're like I'm your exact size and I don't have a dress do you mind sending the dress to me blah 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 and sometimes I've already given away the dresses but in this case I'm giving them away. So if you guys are interested in winning any of the dresses that I tried on in this video go over to my Instagram because that is where I'm going to be announcing everything like how to enter who wins it by the end of it so just go over to my Instagram I don't really want to get into it I'll link it also in the description box but I don't feel like stating all the rules. So anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. If you want to see more of my videos, make sure to click the subscribe button. I post Fridays, Sundays, and some Tuesdays. And if there's any other brands you want me to try, also comment that down below. And anyways, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!